All right, guys, I thought I'd give you a quick sneak peek of the next version of the virtual VE tool here. I finally got the calculate coefficients working. I've been struggling for months on this, and I, it was bad. I was questioning my entire career and life choices of ever touching keyboard and mouse. But it finally happened. I was up till 2 a.m. last night, and I got this thing sorted out. So there's still some improvements, but I'm pretty excited. All I did was change the basic mode here. The professional mode is still the same. Um, and so really this is going to be, I think, the last iteration of this. This is going to, I'll drop version 1.5 and call it good. And then version 2.0 is going to be a totally different program altogether. So histograms the same. How you define, you know, the defined zones is all the same. The only thing that's changed on here is on the VVE new tab, we have this calculate coefficients link and we have a counter. And then same thing over here on the paste special. Which one you do it from does not matter, but I think it's cooler to do this one because you can visually see what's happening. So what this is going to do is it's going to calculate the coefficients and it's going to apply these errors and it's going to like do a paste special over here. It'll calculate the coefficients and it will then look at, well, what is the new error? It will apply that error then to back over to here, do a, like a paste special, multiply by percent and calculate the coefficients. Ideally, when we're done, these will all be zero. And then the shape that we get is going to be nice and smooth and perfect. So let's see, and, and rather than clicking calculate coefficients 10 times, I can put it 10. I'm actually gonna put 25. Now when I click this, watch the graph over here, it will change right in front of your eyes like magic. You will also see a little counter up here telling us what iteration it's on. So let's go ahead and click it. And you can see that graph is starting to change. Not bad. So we're going, it's not pretty, but the percentages may tell a different story. And I think in the end, you're going to have to have a balance of both. So let's take a look. Look at that. Look at that. This whole section, if I do uh, calculate stats, our standard deviation is 0.6. That is incredible. Unbelievable. That would take forever to do manually, jumping back to HP tuners to hit calculate coefficients. Now, when we look at this, most of this stuff down here looks pretty good. Here you can see we have kind of a divot right in here. And that is probably an indication that we need to resort out the zone boundaries or something. If not, maybe just manually intervene. But I think these other little ridges, you know, up here, these little saddle shapes up here, most likely just for the fact that we don't have a whole lot of data up here. And so it's kind of based on the current fuel trims, it's trying to figure out what to do. And that's the shape it comes up with. So I think ideally um, there probably needs to be a way to say, Hey, maybe fill in these blanks um, and don't assume that they're blank. I don't know. That may be something a more advanced type topic, but I did, I wanted to, I failed here. So we know it's 0 0.6, but what did we start off with? If we undo this whole thing and reset it back. So this is what we started off with. And our standard deviation was 2.5, 2.5 down to 0 0.6. And just automatically, just a few clicks. Anyway, I'm super excited about this. Um, I hope you guys are too. Um, I'll try to finish this up and get this one released and begin working on 2.0 as soon as I can. Anyway, uh, see you in the winter circle. Later.